On the following screens, you will be presented with several scenarios that will reinforce key ideas in the presentation and give you a chance to discuss weed management with the group. Follow the instructions for each question. For many of the questions, you will be instructed to hit pause so that you can have time to discuss your thoughts. Resume play when you are ready. What types of weeds are these? Sedges, grasses, or broadleaves? Press pause now. The answer will be revealed in five seconds. These are a grass, crabgrass, a broadleaf, spotted spurge, and a sedge, yellow nut sedge. How do you know? Grasses have narrow leaves with parallel veins. Leaves are arranged in sets of two. Stems are round or flattened. Broad leaves have wide leaves with branching veins. Sedge leaves are arranged in sets of three and have triangular stems. Remember that sedges have edges. Knowing what type of weed you have is necessary to determine the best management strategy. Can you identify this weed and conditions that may have caused this problem? This is nut sedge and is usually an indication that the landscape is overwatered. How does this weed spread and how can you manage the problem? Nut sedge spreads by underground tubers. Remove weeds when they are young and change irrigation practices. Can you identify this weed and conditions that might have caused this problem? This is dandelion and usually invades thin areas in lawns. How does this weed spread, and how can you manage the problem? Dandelion spreads by its seeds, and new plants can regrow from its thick taproot. Make sure you dig out the entire plant and follow practices for maintaining a vigorous lawn. Refer to the Healthy Lawn Guide on the UC IPM website for more information on lawn management. Proper weed identification is important. The weed species present can be a good indication of an underlying problem. Remember that weeds need to be removed when they are young, before seeds or vegetative structures such as tubers, rhizomes, or stolons form. Be sure to always remove the entire plant. What can be done to make this turf healthier? Make sure you are growing the correct turf species for your area. Water and fertilize properly, aerate as needed, and keep your lawn mowed at the correct height. Overseed lawns that are thin or dormant and consider renovating very weedy lawns or lawns with weedy patches. Herbicide should only be used as a last resort. Also avoid fertilizer products containing herbicides. Where will weeds invade? Weeds may invade in bare open areas, near the fence line, in cracks, where water is leaking, and from the lawn into beds. What could you have done to prevent weeds in the first place? Fill bare areas with competitive plants and apply fabric barrier. Apply mulch on top of the fabric barrier around plants or place mulch along fence lines. Add a mowing strip between the lawn and landscape beds. Seal cracks or use a high pressure hose. And fix leaks. Continue to remove weeds as you see them while they are still young and before they spread. What is wrong with this mulch? This mulch is too old and thin. How can you fix this problem?
Remove all weeds. Mulch is more effective if applied over a fabric barrier. Be sure to apply mulch at the proper depth, about 3 to 4 inches for a medium mulch. Replenish mulch as necessary. Mulches must be maintained in order to work effectively. However, some weeds will sneak in. Remove these weeds by hand as soon as you see them. Which tool will best manage these problems? Use a propane torch to manage weeds along a fence line. Use a hula hoe for annual weeds and a weed trimmer to break older weeds. How did this happen? This is herbicide injury. How can you prevent this? Follow all label directions. Avoid drift to nearby plants. And make sure the product is registered for the weed and safe to use in the surrounding area. Injury can be avoided by using non-chemical control. Use herbicides as a last resort.